list at least eight classes that can be used in an online course registration system that allows the student to add and drop class at a university. Now look at the classes you define here. It might be less, it might be more, but this is approximately, we can see this that the classes can be included in a, a student registration system. For example, a student class, faculty class, course class, section class, roster class, time class, semester, department, schedule, major, transcript, and also some graphical user interface classes. All right. And then next comes to the next question. Uh, consider the development of a computer system for car rentals. Okay. Name one class that might be useful in this concept from which of the following categories. Okay. For example, if we think about the tangible things, tangible things is in the simple way we can say touch, touchable things. For example, that can be car, that can be renter, who, who is renter, uh, giving the rent to, uh, to the customers, that can be keys, that can be license tag. And the other activities we call the agent activities. In that case, find a card that is available. That means you are finding a card that is available. Then uh, overdue for return. You are taking the car for rent, maybe you overdue for return. This is also some of the agent activities. Uh, what the agent will do then due for maintenance because your car is uh, time to maintain and uh, do the maintenance do the maintenance maybe this is already due for maintenance and then next coming to the event and transactions okay event and transactions is the rent a car return the car purchase a car or sell a car and the last one is the users and the role what is the users and the role renter what is the renter is doing what is the role of renter sales agent what is the role of sales agents and what is the role of mechanics and also what is the role of dealers okay so i have understand the concept of all these things then next comes to the relationship this is very very important to understand what is the relationship between the pair of classes for example a student and the fresh man how we define the relationship okay this is we can say that the relationship is generalization freshman is a particular kind of students so how you draw the relationship diagram you remember this one the triangle triangle and the state line that is the relationship we define we call the generalizations okay now look at the second one Okay, second one is very strong relationship, professor and the students. Of course, one class, they must have student and professor, student and teacher. So otherwise we cannot say this is a class. Okay, so relationship is actually, we call the aggregation relationship. Okay, you know, remember this one, what is the aggregation relationship, how you draw the diagrams, the diamond state line, correct? Diamond state line, the relationship is that we call the aggregation. Then same with the car and door. Okay, the car and door also very, very strong relationship. You cannot imagine that a car without a door. So we can also define this relationship, aggregation relationship. Okay, then next truck and vehicle. What is the relationship? A truck is a kind of vehicle. We call this is parent child relationship. And the name of the relationship, of course, you need to write generalization relationship. Don't write the relationship is inheritance. Okay. This relationship is actually the concept is inheritance, but the relationship name is generalization. And then last one, this is very interesting. Traffic sign and the color. Traffic sign, remember, not traffic light. This is traffic sign. There is no relationship between them. Okay. So we call neither. Color is an attribute of the sign. So we cannot make any relationship between traffic sign and color. Okay. I hope understand the relationship between pair of classes. Okay. The last one. Okay. Before the last one, actually, you need to know what is CRC, right? Already you know this one, but I will just give you a little bit uh, the idea from the lecture six. Okay, if you come to the lecture six, 
what is mean by CRC cards? This is a card actually, okay? CRC means class responsibilities collaborators. This is a card. So we have to write this relationship. So we have to write the class name, name of the class, and then responsibilities. We have to write what are the responsibilities. That means operation, the class is responsible for, and then we need to write the collaborators. Who are the collaborators? The other classes that is associated with the main class. That means the other class that are helping to the main class, we call the collaborators, okay? So the CRC card is a preliminary description of a class at the initial state of a program design. Because previously the people use this CRC card. They write down the class name and then responsibilities, what are the collaborators of this main class. They, they write down in the one of the cards, we call the CRC card. CRC cards can be used to clarify the scope of the class, okay? Next look at the CRC card, how actually the card looks like. You see there are few sections is there. You can write down as is the class name. Then second part, second section, you can write the super class name if there is super classes, subclasses name. Then the reverse responsibilities. This part is responsibilities. You can write that. What are the responsibilities? And then the collaborators. Who are the other classes that is that can be helped or that is helping to the main class? Okay. So you got the overall idea. How actually you can write the write the information into the CRC cards. Okay. Next, look at the examples here. That will give you a very clear idea. So name of the class, for example, the drawing class. There is no super class. There is no subclass. Now look at the responsibilities. What are the responsibilities of this class? Uh, this is the know the elements of which it is composed. What are the elements is there? Maintain the ordering uh, between the elements. What are the order you have to follow? Uh, maintain the ordering between the elements and know what to display its elements. What to display in the drawing classes? Okay, a store on and restore from a file what the information you need to store and also the information you need to uh, retrieve from a file and the collaborator we have you see two collaborators is there that is this is not the part of this class this is the other classes part right drawing elements and the file they are we call the collaborators they are helping this drawing class to do the activities or to get the output from there okay so i hope understand the concept of the CRC card. Next, uh, of course, we use this one into the object oriented design analysis. Then, what else? And they have the limited set of well defined responsibilities. And also, uh, the CRC card also lists the collaborators of the class. There will be some um, helping uh, classes or other things that we call the collaborators. And the attributes of a class can be recorded at the back of the CRC. What are the attributes? We put at the back of the CRC card. Okay. Okay. Now look at the one of the examples here how you can draw. Display a 3D geometrical model. There are three classes here view class, and this is the actually the description of the class responsibilities, transform, coordinates, display the model. And this is controller model is the collaborator. So they are helping this view class. And next, the controller, you can look at the controller, and also controller, they have some responsibilities, and also the collaborator for this controller is the view model. And look at the model class. They have the responsibilities, store coordinates, and generate the model. So this is the scenario of a 3D geometrical model for the CRC using the CRC. Okay. So now move back to our the question for this lab. Okay. Look at this question now. You got the idea, so it will be very easy for you to explain this part. Okay. So now consider an airline reservation system uh, with classes passenger. So what are the classes we have? Passenger, uh, itinerary, flight, and seat. These are the classes we have, okay? Consider a scenario in which the passenger add a flight to an itinerary and selects a seat, okay? So passenger, what passenger is doing? Adds a flight to an itinerary and select a seat, selects the seats. What responsibility and collabor collaborators uh, will you record on the CRC card as a result? 
Okay, now in the CRC card, you need to write all these things. Okay, I already show you the CRC card. In the scenario, you use the passenger add a flight to an itinerary and select a seat. This is the scenario. The following responsibilities and collaborators can be identified. For example, passenger. First, we look at the passenger is one of the you know, the classes, right? And what is the responsibility is here? No responsibilities or collaborators added in this scenario. There is no collaborators added in this scenario, right? There is no, right? Then uh, itinerary, add a flight and seat reservation. You look at here, itinerary, flight, add seat and select the seat, right? So we can write down, add a flight and seat reservation. There is no collaborator here. There is no collaborator here. Next comes the flight class, okay? Report seat availability, of course, in the flight class, report the seat availability, whether the seat is available or not. There is no collaborator. And also in the flight class, reserve the seat for passengers. And here, the collaborator we can consider as the seat class, okay, seat. So the seat class is helping, helping the flight class to reserve a seat. That's why we call the seat class is the collaborator. And last one is the seat class is the assigned passengers. Assigned passengers, there is no collaborator. That means assign passengers to a particular seat. Okay. So I hope you understand this concept of the uh, CRC cars.